the last lesson I kind of showed you guys how to make the converter and we were prepared to see some addresses but none showed up. Very disappointing. So let's fix that now. What we need to do is we need to make two things in the repository right now and I'm going to show you two things but I'm going to remove one of them later but just to show you how to do it if you want to do it yourself that's up to you. So I'm inside the customer repository right here and let me just do one thing that's really been bothering me for a while. I'm going to rename this guy. Yeah, I know it's not part of this video, but it, it shouldn't be called something with EF memory. I'm just going to rename it into just be called the customer repository. Now it's up to you if you want to do that, but it's just freaking annoying right now. And now I just want to get it out of the way. So now it's a customer repository instead of a customer repository anti framework memory. <sighs> Good. So in inside the customer repository that I just renamed, um, I'm going to go down to the get all function. And what we need to do is we need to include, we need to do a join. And that's kind of what the include is. So we need to explain to the system right now because the NT framework core is not built up to do automatic joins. You have to do a lot of things yourself when we're talking many to many right now. They are working on it. I know it's work in progress. So maybe when you watch these videos later on in the future, they fixed it. But right now, it's not fixed. So what we need to do is we need to do an include down here to explain that I'm going to join this guy and I want information um, from another page, from another place. Now to do this, you actually have to be using the NT framework core right here. Let me just remove it because you might not have that in your setup. So if you try to include and you get an error, it doesn't know about it. You have to do a control dot and use NT framework core right here. There we go. Now I actually added that line right here using NT framework core. So you need that or else you can't use the include. Now that I have the include, I can say with the Lambda expression, I can say I have a customer, a C, and for each customer, I want to get all his addresses. Yay! So now we've included, we've joined to that table called um, customer addresses. So now they're joined together and I get that information. Let's see if this is enough. So I've made a request, I'm getting data back, but notice I'm not getting all the information about the addresses, which I think is fine by the way. But what if I want all the information in one single call right now? What if I want all his address information in this single call instead of just getting right now the ID? You know again, I'm talking a lot about what data I want to send to the front end. And I normally just want to pass the IDs and then later on he can grab the address if he wants it. We can make another function in the business logic layer that says get the customer and also get all his addresses. So this is actually fine for me. But if you're like, I want the addresses, they are so closely bound together at every time I get a user, I always also want his addresses from the database right away. Let me show you how you can do that very simply. But notice right now when I'm doing the request, I'm actually getting the ID back, but not the street, number and city. So let's just add another line in here to make sure that you also get that information back. So I'm back in the code and here under the customer repository again, I'm going to do a then include. That's another type of include that kind of says, I also want to include something on the next level. So the include here kind of binds these two guys together. But now I want to, on the addresses to also add some information and that's the actual address. So remember the addresses right here is actually still customer addresses and not the real address but kind of the link, uh, the table that bound the two together, right? But now I also want to include on the customer address, I want to include the actual address. So what I'll do here is I'll make another Lambda expression. Let me just make this into a few lines. It's just easier to read then. Then include then to list. So here I'm going to say CA for customer address and I'm going to say give me also the actual address. Now notice one thing, the IntelliSense is actually not that helpful right here but you can actually write address directly in here. I just want you guys to know that if you don't see the address in the IntelliSense you can actually write it directly in here and it will understand it. But again, NG Framework Core has a few issues. I read up on this and that's just a problem they have with the IntelliSense that even though objects are actually here, I know there's also a customer here actually, and even though the IntelliSense might not show it, it's actually in here. So I just wanted to let you guys know that IntelliSense sometimes can be a picky uh, uh, bandit, uh, bad boy, I don't know what you want to put in there, but with the then include you can actually do this, and let's just start it again to show you that now not only are we including information, the actual IDs from the addresses, but we're actually also including the actual information about the actual address, which is a completely different table. Let's try and run this. And again, notice right here that with the include only, I only got the ID of addresses back. And now I've added the then include to also get information about the actual address information. And if I do a send now, you'll notice I'm getting back not only the ID, but actually also the real information of the address. So the ID is residing inside the customer address. That's why I can get that without the second include. 
where this guy is actually residing in the real address uh, table. And that's why when I do then include, I can get all the information. So that's it. Now we have all the information from a one-to-many relation pulled out of the database in a single request. But again, you can consider if you want to only get the ID, and I'll show you later how to use those ID. We'll actually start doing that in the next couple of videos. Or you can grab all the information right away by doing a then include to get even more information directly in one request. But I'm just giving too much power to the repository right now. I don't want to do that. So I'm going back and removing that then include. But that's it for this lesson. Now you guys know how to pull out addresses and actually both getting only the ID or the entire information set for the address. See you in the next lesson where we'll have more fun.